In this video, we're going to analyze the mindsets of three successful people. Before you set up to do anything, it's really important that you mindset check yourself to make sure that your beliefs are not self-sabotaging your efforts. For example, would a sprinter win first place if he doesn't believe he can win? We're going to analyze the mindsets of three successful people to see what we can learn from them. What hasn't Arnold been at this point? Bodybuilder, actor, senator. I can't speak for the senator part, but he was immensely successful in the first two. I used to think of Arnold as a bit of a meathead. Getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pump. But like most things, there is a lot underneath first glances. For example, he came from extremely humble background. One thing that stood out to me from watching his Netflix biopic is that from an early age, he became fascinated by Reg Park. He wanted to become like him so bad that to his mother's dismay, he hung posters of him all over his bedroom, even next to his bed. The effect that this had on him is that daily he was inspired to go to the gym and start working out. He knew what he was aiming for. He had a definite goal, which he saw every night before falling asleep. Perhaps this had an effect on his subconscious too. Every day without fail, he would see those posters, which would remind him and inspire him what his definite goal was. Napoleon Hill said, set your mind on a definite goal and observe how quickly the world stands aside to let you pass. How does your environment inspire you? How does it make you feel? I'm talking about your home, your car, your clothes, your appearance, your food, your music, the news you pay attention to. Do you have a definite goal or purpose which you're moving towards? And if you don't, how do you know where you are headed? You may not have heard of Ryan Holiday, but he shows up about four times the amount of search results compared to the prolific Arnold. Ryan is most known for being an author specializing on the philosophy of Stoicism. Stoicism is the ancient Greek philosophy focused on being self-sufficient and living a good life. For Ryan, Stoicism is a tool to see the world in a different way, in a way that favors courage, action, and transforming obstacle into opportunity. What about your philosophy? You might not have written it down, but you most certainly have one. What effect does that philosophy have on the way you live your life? The last person on the list is John Romero. He is the rock star programmer and businessman of the video games industry. Known for, among of his team, inventing the FPS genre with games like Doom and Quake. Fun fact, have you ever used WASD on your keyboard? That's because John designed that control scheme in 1992 for their game Wolfenstein 3D. By first impression alone, it's hard to believe that games like this were impressive when you compare them to our modern day graphics. But you don't have to look far to find out how mind-blowing this was to gamers back then. When Doom was released, it was making 50k worth of sales daily. That's 100k in today's money. Not bad for a core team of five. But John didn't achieve celebrity status overnight. Doom was in fact his 90th game. What can we learn from this gaming legend? Taken from his autobiography, Doom Guy, John said, fail gracefully. Failure is a part of games, failure is a part of life, and failure is a part of success. Accept your flaws, reload your save, and try again. What is your attitude to failure? He even ends his autobiography on a quote from Samuel Beckett. Ever tried, ever failed. No matter. Try again, 
fail again for better. By combining the mindsets of the three people we looked at, we can see that it's a good idea to have a definite purpose of what you want to achieve and make sure that you see that regularly. Then have a personal philosophy which is going to support the achievement of that purpose. And last but not least, not being afraid of failure, accepting that it's a part of life, it's a part of success. But what do you think? Is there something other than the mindset of these three people that we looked at that led them to their success? Which of the three mindsets are you going to have the hardest time implementing? Let me know in the comments. I would love to discuss this with you. Thanks for watching. Any feedback is highly appreciated and I hope to see you soon. Blah 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 bl